<sighs> 31. For behold, they shall not accomplish their evil designs. It's not like God's quaking in his boots. I wonder who's really quaking in his boots. These prophets, they speak for God, so when they talk for themselves, it gets a little confusing. In lying against those words, for behold, if you should bring forth the same words, they will say that you have lied, and that you have pretended tr to translate. Much repetition there, Joseph? That, oh wait, translate, but that, but that you have contradicted yourself. <laughs> well, we'll just keep reading this and find out if he has anyway, won't we? <sighs> 32. And behold, they will publish this. <laughs> You're God! That's God talking, right? Or an angel. Get the pages. <laughs> and Satan will harden the hearts of the people to stir them up to anger against you. That they will not believe my words that are coming out of your mouth through your hat. He's talking through his hat. 33. Thus, Satan thinketh to overpower your testimony in this generation, that the work may not come forth in this generation. That's fine. We'll get another prophet, you know. Another one will come along. <laughs> 34. But behold, here is wisdom, and because I show unto you wisdom, and give you commandments concerning these things, what you shall do, show it not unto the world until you have accomplished the work of translation. No more uh, lending library there. No more proofreading. Hey, what do you think of my, my story so far? Best way to finish it, don't show it around. Finish it first. Thirty-five. Marvel not that I said unto you, here is wisdom. Show it not unto the world. For I said, show it not unto the world, that you may be preserved. 36. Behold, I do not say that you shall not show it unto the righteous, Yeah, you're not contradicting yourself at all. Yeah, show it to nobody, then, oh, well, maybe a couple. It's almost like the Noah's Ark story, you know, in Genesis. Two of every kind. Oh, wait a second, he kills a bunch of them after they land. Uh, seven of some other kind. And I guess a few will just go extinct. They could just boil some dinosaur eggs. Uh, 37. But, as you cannot always judge the righteous, or as you cannot always tell the wicked from the righteous, therefore I say unto you, hold your peace until 
I shall see fit to make all things known unto the world concerning the matter. Really? Yeah. 38. And now, verily, I say unto you, that an account of these things that you have written, which have gone out of your hands, is engraven upon the plates of Nephi. 39. Yea, and you remember it was said that those writings, that a more particular account was given of those things upon the plates of Nephi. And now, because the account which is engraven upon the plates of Nephi is more particular concerning the things which, in my wisdom, I would bring to the knowledge of the people of this account. 41. Therefore, you shall translate the engravings which are on the plates of Nephi, down even till you come to the reign of King Benjamin, or until you come to that which you have translated, which you have retained. 42. And behold, you shall publish it as the record of Nephi, and thus I will confound those who have altered my words. 43. I will not suffer that they shall destroy my work, yea, I will not show unto them that my wisdom is greater than the cunning of the devil. 44. Behold, they have only got a part or an abridgment of the account of Nephi. 45. Behold, there are many things engraven upon the plates of Nephi, which do throw greater views upon my gospel. It's funny how the first first uh, verse of Nephi, it reads like the beginning of a document. It really does. It, it reads like, all right, let's start this epic. <laughs> and it's terrible. It doesn't sound like, oh, there were some books in front of this. It sounds like, all right, fuck it. Let's start this book over again. And... All right, let's start just a new beginning. I, Nephi, being of goodly parents, and running on and on and on, on gold. <sighs> I was so impressed. Therefore, it is wisdom in me that you should translate this first part of the engravings of Nephi and send forth in this work. 46. And behold, all the remainder of the work does contain all the parts of my gospel, which my holy prophets, yea, and also my disciples, desired in their prayers should come forth unto this people. Yeah, they're, they're willing this book uh, from the past forward through time to us. That's the way it reads. Oh, there's going to be this Gentile nation, and we're going to be all dead eventually, and they're going to get it next. We're passing the torch to them. Yeah, put this book under a rock in upstate New York. They'll get it. It's like a message in a bottle thrown in the sea. 47. And I said unto them that it should be granted unto them, according to their faith, in their prayers. 48. Yea, and this was their faith, that my gospel, which I gave unto them, 
that they might preach in their days, might come upon their brethren, the Lamanites. That's the Indians. Because of their dissensions. 49. Now, this is not all. Their faith in their prayers was all this gospel should be made known, known also. Should be made known also. If it were possible that other nations should, pos should possess this land. 49. Let's do that again. 49. Now, this is not all. Their faith in their prayers was that this gospel should be made known also. If it were possible that other nations should possess this land after they're wiped out. <laughs> Prophecies. And it, and, and it came to pass. It did. We're here. It's not in the book. But this is just for me. Ah. Damn, this is a long one. Fifty. And thus, they did leave a blessing upon this land in their prayers that whosoever should believe in this gospel in this land might have eternal life. Hey, why not? You know, it could happen. Now, hold it. Good. <laughs> but only human beings, nothing else that lives. I mean, think about it, you know? Be crazy. Everything that ever lives, you know, and that doesn't count, just people. 51. Yea, that it might be free unto all, whosoever nation, kindred, tongue, or people may be. And it's us. 52. And now, behold, according to their faith and their prayers, will I bring this part of my gospel to the knowledge of my people. Behold, I do not bring it to destroy that which they have received, but to build it up. 53. And for this cause have I said, if this generation... Heart not their hearts, I will establish my church among them. 54. Now, I do not say this to destroy my church, right. but I say this to build up my church. Fifty-five. Therefore, whosoever belongeth to my church need not fear. You got magic underwear. <laughs> For such shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. I mean, he's got Masonic symbols on it and everything in the right configuration. And all those ley lines, you know better than a magnetic bracelet, you know? <laughs> For such shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Sounds fun. <clears throat> but it is they who do not fear me, neither keep my commandments. Neither keep my commandments, but build up churches unto themselves to get gain. You can do that? Wow. People will believe it? 
But they can only believe in true stuff. You can't believe in false stuff if you have faith. How can you have faith in something false? Just kidding. Yay. And all those that do wickedly and build up the kingdom of the devil. He's got a kingdom too. Yay, verily, verily. Thank you. I couldn't wait, but... God damn, this is a long one. Son of a bitch. I say unto you that it is they that I will disturb and cause to tremble and shake to the center. 57. Behold, I am Jesus Christ. So that's who's talking. The Son of God. <laughs> I came unto mine own, and mine own received me not. 58. I am the light which shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. 59. I am he who said, Other sheep have I, which are not of this fold. It's like he's cheating on us. Unto my disciples, and many there were that understood me not. 60. And I will show unto this people that I have other sheep. I do and that they are a branch of the house of Jacob. 61. And I will bring to light their marvelous works, which they did in my name. 62. Yea, I will also bring a light, bring to light my gospel, which was ministered unto them, and behold, they shall not deny that which you have received, but they shall build it up, and shall bring to light the true points of my doctrine. Yea, and the only doctrine which is in me. 63. And this I do that I may establish my gospel, and there may not be so much contention, yea, Satan doth stir up the hearts of the people to contention concerning the points of my doctrine. And in these things they do err, for they do rest the scriptures, and do not understand them. 64. Therefore, I will unfold unto them this great mystery. That'll clear things up. I'll make it even more confusing. That'll learn ya. 65. For behold, I will gather them as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings. Shades of uh, Third Nephi, early chapters. If they will not harden their hearts. I'll never forget that phrase. I should have drank to it. Except it would put me in a coma. 66. Yea, if they will come, they may, they may, and partake of the waters of life freely. 10%, baby. 67. Behold, this is my doctrine. Whosoever repenteth and cometh unto me, the same 
is my church. 68. Whosoever declareth more or less than this, the same is not of me. Didn't the Bible say that? And then Joseph added some stuff. And now he's saying nobody says anything after him. Whew, I'm glad he stamped it, man. I could have kept continued on. He got it right, though. So. <laughs> Let's finish this. All right. 67. Behold, this is my doctrine. Whosoever repenteth and cometh unto, cometh unto me, the same is my church. Whosoever declareth more or less than this, the same is not of me, but is against me. Therefore, he is not of my church. 69. And now, behold, whosoever is of my church and endureth and endureth of my church to the end. Him will I establish upon my rock. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against them. Seventy. And now, remember the words of him who is the life and the light of the world, your Redeemer, your Lord, and your God. Amen. And that's it for 10. God damn. That one was a big one. Well, I can see now why it took him all summer to write it. Summer of, uh, 1828. The whole summer. Man, was he thrown. Remember, he said he couldn't translate for a season. <laughs> Anyhow, that's enough for one night. So I will see you guys in uh, 11. Man, I'm looking forward to it, since I haven't read it yet. Oh, and I'm not going to until I do the video. So, peace the fuck out. Whatever the fuck it is you have.